Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's power move, I'm gonna show you a really cool trick to change the colors of your parts when you're editing a part in the context of an assembly. Ow! Okay, so here we are in SolidWorks. You can see the assembly I'm working on is this sauna, and I need to put some insulation around the window. So I've got this kind of weather stripping here, and I'm going to create in-context relationships to these four edges of the window. So I right mouse button, I choose edit part, and whoa, okay, wow. Uh, that's a, that's a lot of edges that I'm looking at there. And this is the default behavior in SolidWorks. You know, when you go to edit a part in SolidWorks, all the other parts become transparent with the edges shown. And that can be very overwhelming, both in the sense of overwhelming to me, to my eyes as the engineer. I'm not really sure what to pick. I mean, there's like a million edges here that I can pick from. But also, it can be very overwhelming to your graphics card. If you've got a very complicated assembly, you're going to really overload the graphics card when you immediately show all these edges. So here's what I do to get around this. I go back out to the top level of the assembly. I click on the little options icon. I go into my options for colors, and there's a couple of changes that I need to make. Now, the first thing that I need to do is go down here to the bottom of this section of the page and say, use specified colors when editing parts in assembly. So I have to make sure that I check that option on. The next thing I have to do is go down and specify the colors for the assembly. Now, the default color that you get when you go into edit part mode in an assembly is this blue color. The problem is that's the same color as your underdefined sketches. So anytime you sketch on those parts, you're gonna kind of start losing your sketch entities. So I like to go down here to assembly edit part, and I like to say edit, and I change that to this very first color. It's kind of like a strawberry or like a mauve color. I hit OK, and then the other thing that I do is I go to assembly non-edit parts, meaning all the rest of the parts in the assembly, and I click this button that says edit, and I change that to the second color here. It's kind of like a yellow or like a manila color. So I say OK, and then the final option that we need to change is not on this page, not on the colors page, but instead on the page called display. And when we go to display, we're gonna change the assembly transparency for in context edit. We're gonna change that from force assembly transparency, which makes everything go transparent. We're gonna change that to opaque assembly. That's gonna force everything to become solid. And so if I hit okay now, and I go back and try that same exercise again, right mouse button, edit part, Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. So now the part that I'm editing is this kind of mauve or strawberry color and all the other parts in the assembly have become solid and are this manila color. So it's very easy for me to see what I'm working on. And now I can go into edit sketch mode. I can take these lines here and easily make them collinear to the other lines of the assembly. And so now I can exit that sketch there is my nice weather stripping. I can exit out to the top level and that is looking good. So just as a quick review here, there's really two options that we changed. The first option that we changed said that whenever we go into assembly mode, and here I'm gonna press the letter A on my keyboard to jump down to the section for assembly. When we edit a part, we want it to be this color. And when, when we do that, when we go into edit part mode, we want all the other parts to become manila. Now, in order for that to kick in, we have to remember to use specified colors when editing parts and assemblies. So that's one setting that we changed. And then the other setting that we changed is here in display. And that's the setting that said that whenever we edit our components in the assembly, we don't want all the parts to become transparent. We want them all to become solid or opaque. So what do you think about that power move? Is that something that you think you can use to save some time and save some, some graphics performance resources? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, if you're enjoying this series, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to share this video with a fellow SolidWorks enthusiast. And I will see everyone in the next episode of Power Moves.